The stocks that my Python trading bot purchased were up by $964.88 yesterday and now they are down by $35.12. So overall I'm in loss because I did not sell here. So let's see what we are doing, what I did and let's see how you can also do it. First of all, I'll be using SPY to trade that tracks S&P 500. If you don't know what SPY is, you can just do a quick YouTube search. And what will my Python bot be doing? So first of all, it will be using Alpaca API to get stock history every minute. Then it will be calculating MA, that is moving average. And finally, it will make trade decisions of buying or selling if the current price seems to be diverging from MA by a factor of 10 cents. So this is pretty basic, not just basic, it's very stupid strategy to trade. So this is just me experimenting. Don't try to do this in your real trades. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. If you don't know what MA is, you can just go to YouTube and type moving average trading strategy and you'll get a lot of videos so that you can understand how to use this better. This guy here never planned to tell us this, so it must be good. So let's see how I made this Python bot and how you can make this bot. I will be experimenting with Elliott Waves and RSI soon and hope I'll make some real money with it. <laughs> I will also be creating an AI based trading bot so subscribe so that you can be updated. This is the code that we had done in the first part. We will not be using this, we can just remove all of this. So this is just me using a trading client from Alpaca to make trades to put buy and sell order. We will be trading SPY, you can trade Apple, you can trade Microsoft, you can trade whatever you want. First we import all the required dependencies and then we set the ticker symbol to buy or sell that is SPY in our case. Now we just initialize our trade API client and get the required historical data of our preferred stock that is SPY in this case. We are getting the data minute by minute. You can get the data hour by hour or day by day according to your trade time frame. Now I am getting price data of SPY of just last 5 minutes and then I will convert it into a numpy array so that we can easily calculate moving average. And now we have moving average last price of the last 5 minutes so that we can make our trade decision accordingly. This is where I am making my trade decision. I am just checking if the losing price of last minute is 10 cents or more greater than the moving average of last 5 minutes. If so, there might be a breakout and I am telling the bot to buy stocks. If the price of last minute is 10 cents or more less than the moving average of last 5 minutes, the stock price might fall even further and I am telling the bot to sell the stock. Finally, I am putting all this MA calculation and trading decision in an infinite loop that does this every 60 seconds. Now I just run the code and wait for the last price and moving average to meet the conditions I've set. The project is on GitHub, so feel free to get it, apply your own trading strategy and make it better. I'll also be adding some better trading strategies and update on how it performs, so subscribe if you haven't already. This bot has been running for 2 minutes now and I've printed the closing price of SPY and moving average for the last 5 minutes. I've also printed the closing price of SPY in the last minute. Since there has not been a difference of at least 10 cents between MA and the last minute's closing price, the bot has not placed any buy or sell orders. Buy! 